Marshmallows were traditionally made to be used as medicine to help soothe coughing, a sore throat, or to treat digestive problems such as ulcers, gastritis, heartburn, acid reflux, and diarrhea. The first marshmallows were made by boiling pieces of marshmallow root pulp with honey until the mixture had thickened. Then, once thick, the mixture was strained, cooled, and then eaten to help remedy common ailments. Today, most marshmallows are made with gelatin, water, corn syrup, sugar, and artificial colorings, as replacing the marshmallow root with gelatin made them easier and cheaper to produce, and it allowed manufacturers to create marshmallows in a variety of shapes and sizes. This recipe that I'll be sharing for herbal marshmallows still uses gelatin, but we'll also be adding the medicinal marshmallow root plant back in to put the marshmallow back in marshmallows. Marshmallow root can be used in teas, tinctures, salves, balms, syrups and powders and has a cooling and moistening effect on the body. It's also an anti-inflammatory and is particularly useful for ailments that affect the respiratory system, the kidneys, bladder, mucous membranes of the body, gastrointestinal tract and skin. This herb forms a protective coating over the throat and digestive tract which helps in soothing inflammation and irritation and may even help to reduce pain. Marshmallow root can be helpful for those suffering with a UTI as it reduces bacterial growth in the urinary tract and cleans the bladder, while also soothing the urinary system and kidneys. These homemade herbal marshmallows can be used in much the same way as store-bought marshmallows. They can be roasted over a fire, used to make s'mores, added to hot drinks like coffee, matcha or hot chocolate, or eaten as a snack on their own. I love adding them to hot beverages as the marshmallows dissolve into the drink, creating a delicious creamy foam on top of the beverage. To make these herbal marshmallows, start by combining one cup of warm water with one tablespoon of marshmallow root powder in a small bowl and set it aside for five minutes or as long as overnight in the fridge. Stir the mixture well, then strain out the pulp. Make sure that the liquid makes enough for one whole cup. In a standalone mixer bowl, pour in half a cup of gelatin powder and the cup of the prepared marshmallow root tea. Whisk the mixture slightly with a hand whisk to incorporate, then, if using, add one teaspoon of colostrum powder into the bowl with the gelatin mixture and whisk again to combine. Set the bowl aside and allow the mixture to sit and bloom for 10 minutes or until the gelatin is softened. In a medium sized saucepan, add one cup of raw honey and slowly bring the honey to a boil while stirring. If you have a kitchen thermometer, and I strongly recommend it, you want it to reach at least 115 degrees Celsius or 240 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a kitchen thermometer, keep boiling the mixture for 8 minutes or so, stirring constantly. Turn on the stand mixer with the gelatin mixture inside the bowl and set it to medium speed. Whisk the mix while slowly pouring the honey mixture into the mixing bowl. When the honey mix is added, set the mixer to high speed and whisk for another 10 to 15 minutes or until the mixture develops into a stiff cream, similar to the consistency of marshmallow cream. Cover the bowl to help avoid the mixture splashing out. Just make sure to check back every few minutes or so to see when the mixture starts to turn light and fluffy. Once fluffy, transfer the marshmallow mix into a greased pan or a pan lined with parchment paper, leaving some parchment on the sides to be able to pull up. Place the pan in the refrigerator to set for 1-2 to two hours before cutting them into the desired shapes and sizes. Store these marshmallows in an airtight container in the fridge for up to one week. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial on how to make these herbal marshmallows. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you do try this recipe out yourself and what you think. I'd love to know. I wish you a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. I send you all my love and I'll see you soon again.